right now, docking is playing. Yeah, but, oh, you know they won't, like, post it if you can hear you. Maybe. I know. If they can hear the music, YouTube won't let me uh, post it. There you are. At all, so I'm going to turn it down a little bit. And keep it on in the background. Yeah. <sighs> I can run a poll for you. Oh. Ooh. See, Jimmy's going to be a much better moderator. <laughs> yeah. I am just here so for entertainment purposes. Like and then or, yeah. I can put up a poll where they can vote for however long. And then nice. you can be like, should I do blank or blank? Oh, you know what? Maybe for the Friday night cocktail, we'll do a vote. Yeah, we'll do right up the top. Where's the book? You could probably do that. Oh, you got the I got the book. All right, we'll do it now. We'll do it Okay. Because there's a couple of cocktails I want to try. I need yeah. my stuff for it. So. Nice. Well, we're letting some more people come on. I think uh, I we can't. got, what, three people left? I don't know. I don't know why yeah. I can't. There yeah. you are. There we go. Oh, I got to turn the volume down. Yeah, because it's like a delay. There you are. Judy says good evening. Hey. Wildcats here. Yep. Hey, y'all from Yule Wildcat. She was here last All night. All right. She, he, I don't know. Okay. I'm, I need to be gender neutral. They. <laughs> All right, thanks for joining us again. It's Tuesday night. I'm not sure if there's going to be a live tomorrow hey, or Amanda's Thursday. Amanda's here. No, well. We'll see. Jerry's out of town tomorrow. We're still, I'm out of town uh, tomorrow and Thursday, but we'll see. Maybe I can talk Jimmy into doing something, but we'll see. And then Carlos gets to sit here and be all googly-eyed. All googly-eyed. I got my <laughs> wife over here. My wife's uh, trying to monitor some of the comments. We got Jimmy over in the background. and. We're going to try and uh, answer some questions that you guys may have, but we're going to get started like we always do with the cocktail. We are still, mm -hmm. believe it or not, we are still in our home uh, home bar basics. It's uh, Cocktails at Home Anytime by Victoria Bergeson. All right. Wait, 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 wait. I'd rather be fishing says ditch the board. Ditch the board. Oh, I do have the oven on. Why is this every time? Why every, is that? Every, every night. Why is that every night. Time? You got to the board. board. All right, so um, ditch the board guy. Can I bring my noodle board into work tomorrow and you take it home and fix where some teenage boys put the ring on it and it's all messed up? Uh oh. I'm uh -oh. putting you on the spot. Can I bring it in tomorrow he's to work and let you fix it? He's, he's not answering you. He's going to answer. Okay. All right, answering. so let's get started with the cocktail. Have... But tonight, I want you guys to stick around. Because we're doing blackened steak and roasted pepper shrimp tonight. Oh my gosh, that sounds good. Wow. The home yes. chef meal. Yes, he said I can bring it in tomorrow and he'll fix it for me. We're doing a home chef. Oh, look in the corner. It's a culinary collection. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that means. That means we paid a little bit more for this one. Okay. So <laughs> the, That's what the, that means. <laughs> the difficulty level is intermediate. So our steak au poivre. Boy, I hope I pronounced that right. Last night was really, really good. Tonight we're doing blackened steak and roasted pepper shrimp. But before we do that, we always do a cocktail out of our book here. We're still going through our book. Tonight we're doing the classic daiquiri. Now, when you think of daiquiri... I know, like me, I think of a frozen drink on the beach. But no, the classic is not frozen and coconutty. So the, the daiquiri is a classic sour cocktail made with rum lime and sugar did you know that i didn't know that so we're gonna do a classic daiquiri tonight okay well we kind of did because we were over at our daughter's house and her and her husband made us classic daiquiris and i was like this is not daiquiri where, where where's the blender where's the blender, where's the ice and the blender and where's all the blender? That stuff. yeah all right so i'm gonna squeeze some limes squeeze some limes those of you that are coming on uh let us know where you're from while I'm cutting up some limes and squeezing the juice. Well, Ye O Wildcat is from Arizona. Yes. How's the weather in Arizona right now? We have we have family that have just has just flown over to California, and we don't even know what's going on in California. But Texas, we got somebody from Texas. Hey, Texas. What okay, part of Texas? seriously, Danny, really. Really? You must say from Vienna Apparently, Vienna, Danny is from Vienna. Vienna? Yeah, really? Like Vienna where? Vienna Austria. sausage? Austria. Oh. Yeah, Vienna sausages. <laughs> well, he wants to be funny. Why uh, Amanda, be funny? again, is from Ohio. That's right. Ohio's in the house. Johnny is not so good. That's your name, really? It's from, hello, from Missouri. <laughs> you might have two accounts. Johnny is so good. Yeah, right. And then we got some Thousand Oaks, California. Oh. Not heard of that. 
My brother and his <laughs> wife bring coffee. All right, we right got now. somebody from Alaska saying, squeeze the juice. Squeeze in the juice. <laughs> So that's what I'm doing right All now. Right, I don't know Mary if y'all can Jane see that. wants to know what you're making. So tonight we're making a classic daiquiri before we get to the meal. The meal tonight is a home chef meal, blackened steak and roasted pepper shrimp. <laughs> so Amanda says, with those muscles, you can't just squeeze the lime? Amanda, I don't want to show off so much. <laughs> Oh, we got somebody from Texas, remember, Dayton, Ohio. Remember, Amanda, I I, uh, I work in an office, okay? I'm not a chef. I'm not a cook. I'm not a bartender. These hands punch a keyboard all day long. And Mary Jane is from Oregon. Okay, so literally, I've always wanted to visit Oregon. Okay, so I'm one of these people that if it rained all the time, I would be perfectly content. Like, I love rainy days, except for my joints. They don't. But my mood, I want to, I, I do, I, I'm happier on rainy days. I would love to visit Oregon and Washington where it tends to rain a little more. I'm not a fan of the rain. No, Brad, not margaritas tonight. We are doing daiquiris. Daiquiris. If you guys don't know the, the voice you're hearing on the... The, the tickety talk that we're Florida. doing tonight is my wife Jennifer. She's going to be trying to keep up with your comments. But we're going to get started with this daiquiri. It's rum. Yeah, I agree, Brad. I would much rather have a margarita, but you know what? I'm excited about this daiquiri. All right, so it's uh, two ounces of rum. Now, I'm going to make two drinks um, tonight, but each drink contains two ounces of rum an ounce of uh, fresh lime juice and a three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup, which we make in house. It's, we do a one to one ratio. So let's get started with some ice. We're gonna throw our ice into our shaker. I think the okay, drinks- Okay, um, Jimmy, can you translate what Brad said? Google. That type of margarita. <laughs> okay, margarita. I could have done All that. Right. So I got my I got my lime juice there. I'm gonna do uh, three quarters of an ounce. So I'm gonna do an ounce oh, and a half now of simple syrup. Off Astoria. <laughs> gotcha. There's a uh, three quarters of an ounce each. All right. So Mary Jane says she hated the rain until she moved there 12 years ago and love it. I would. I would. I would love. I, I would. I would be content. I would be very content. Two ounces of rum each drink, so I'm going to put four ounces in there in my shaker. And then we're going to shake it up, and then we're going to put it in a chilled coupe glass. So I've got I'm two coupe glasses. <laughs> Thank you. Well, All right, so I've got two chilled coupe glasses, one for Jennifer, one for Jimmy. We'll be able to put these in there. Oh, we're oh, ready to yes. shake. Oh, yes, a steel Look. or tin roof, Amanda, is relaxing. Okay. Amanda, watch this. I'm getting ready to shake. Okay, can you shake the drink, please? Ah, ah, ah. Shake the drink? Okay. I was trying to be funny. Yes, Annie, the new aboard from Ruth, you are late to the party. I'm shaking. Amanda's watching. Shaking. Oh, look, your little cheeks are jiggling. My cheeks are jiggling? Yeah, your cheeks All right, are jiggling. Let me grab <laughs> so I got two coupe glasses. They're chilled. Look how frosty they are. Two coupe glasses. I didn't cook my. Oh, you didn't? I'm gonna make a nice neat thing there. <laughs> One cheeks. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Looky there. Um, and looky there. Oh, tonight. Yummy. Everybody, tonight. It's a classic daiquiri. Classic. Classic daiquiri. Check that out. Oh, that's good. That's good. All right, Jimmy, right. here's yours. How many mm. love misses did he use? Mm, what? A bunch of milk. There we go. Probably all of them. Oh, Tom Cruise <laughs> has nothing on you. Okay, so Amanda, we gotta stop with that. Okay. <laughs> now <laughs> we got our, his ego. We got daiquiris out of the way. Let's get to the meal because tonight. All right, so Patrick loves our kitchen. Patrick, tonight we're doing the Home Chef blackened steak and roasted pepper shrimp with mashed potatoes and green beans. Ooh. Woo! It sounds like a great meal. It does. 
like a very meal. filling meal. So again, we, we have to always put this out there that we are not loyal to any one particular company, but right now we're doing Home Chef. The meals are cheaper than Green Chef and HelloFresh for what you get. And we also have house guests for the next little bit and we're ordering. So what's cool is we, we, we got the meals in today. Yeah. So we ordered four, usually we do two, and we ordered four. So they come in and they're separated. So we're still doing just two. And then when our house guests come home, they can do whatever they want to do because they're all separated. So if they don't want to have steak and shrimp tonight, they can have steak and shrimp another night. So again, I, I, I'm giving props to Home Chef. I'm like Home this. Chef, pretty yeah. good, yeah. The directions, uh, the directions are okay. We're gonna go through them here in just a minute. Amanda so, says, hopefully in a couple of years she's gonna build a house and I'm gonna have the kitchen wall too. So we got the uh, kitchen wall is this? not planned; it just kind of happens. Grated parmesan. So we got grated parmesan. We've got uh, garlic salt, green beans, potatoes. Look at that cream cheese. <laughs> and and Brad's going back to margaritas. Okay, mm -hmm. so we—I don't even know if we have enough tequila for a margarita right now. Which one is it? I don't even know if we have any tequila right now. <laughs> we have we have mezcal, but a little bit. <laughs> Alright, so you missed Brad. You missed our mezcal margaritas we had last week that were amazing. Alright, my step one, back to my meal. Not mezcal margaritas. You know I, I you know I like mezcal. Meal you know tonight's like home chef blackened steak and roasted pepper shrimp. Ooh, I can't wait. But we're in step one of the directions because I followed the directions. Uh, we're going to quarter our potatoes and put them in a pot. We're going to put them in a pot and we're going to boil them. <laughs> okay, so Amanda wants to know. Okay. So question. Okay. Do you consider yourself more of a cook like Mrs. Doubtfire than the Chef Ramsey? I consider... <laughs> wow. First of all, I do not feel that I need to hold any title that is related to Chef or Cook. Because I am neither. I follow directions. So it's very similar to me putting together a Lego set. Oh, ye oh Wildcat just got our home chef delivery like two minutes ago. Wow. Oh, nice. Can't wait to hear how it goes. Hope you have steak and shrimp. Right? Did you get steak and shrimp too? That's what we got. Okay, so I'm putting my uh, potatoes in water. We're gonna salt these a little bit, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put them on the burner. You okay with that? You're the cook. It's my wife right over here. See my finger? I'm pointing this way. Okay. Uh, you're the cook. I am the guy following the directions. I'm gonna. Of course, the, the next two nights he's not gonna be here. So, am I gonna be hungry? I mean, cereal? Am I? Well, we're trying to talk again? Jimmy. We're trying to talk or Jimmy into doing the meal. Her fault. She can take over as the host. Ooh. Okay, Maybe well I'm not as entertaining. Rare. I'm not as entertaining the as he is. Sighting. And wow. I'll, and 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 I don't follow directions well. That's my problem. <laughs> Just order out, girl. I feel you. Yeah, that might be the problem. Uh, so someone just said last guy to tell me he was gonna quarter my taters. I married. <laughs> okay, good thing I'm already married to this one. <laughs> I don't know if I should be disturbed or excited about that comment. But just know I can feed myself. I yes. can cook. It's the, really hard like said, to for, the, for yourself. The, the first 27 years, my wife did all the cooking in the kitchen. It wasn't until recently that we started doing these meals together and I started pushing her out because I'm actually enjoying it. You know what? I may get some stuff. We may have chicken bob tomorrow. Ooh. I may wow. make some chicken bob. And for all of those of you that are not from this area of South Carolina, I will leave you to wonder what chicken so, bob is. We, we've got several on here from Arizona, Ohio, California, other places of the world, right? We're from the east coast of South Carolina. We're in a small town called Conway, 
It's about 10 miles west of Myrtle Beach. And it's, uh... Oh, Annie had chicken box. I told you, did you save me some? Who did? Annie, they had chicken box tonight. Uh-oh. They eat you know, it all the time. They never I'm thinking any. about doing a, a variation of chicken bog using um, cauliflower rice. Mm. Because I don't eat rice. Now, I've tried rice in many different ways and forms. Even my wife cooking it, I've tried it. But okay, I don't know what okay. it is. I, okay, do you know what it is? I don't know what all it right. is. All right, so those of you who are our age, maybe a little older, do you remember the movie The Lost Boys? Oh, yeah. Yeah, do you remember the scene where the rice <laughs> turned into... Like maggots? He yes. lives for that. He that could be it. About. That could be it. You are right. Oh, yeah, Wildcat lived in Charleston for 12 years. Did you have... Okay, so it's either called Chicken Bog, or I just recently learned, because in my whole life it's been Chicken Bog, but I recently learned in Georgetown and some other areas, it's called Perlo. 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 Yep. It's the same thing? Same thing. It's the same thing. Exactly the same thing. It's just called something different. They have um, a little town north of Conway. Every year they have a uh, what they call a bog off. Mm -hmm. It's uh, Loris. Yes. Loris, South Carolina. Little Look Loris, it up. South Carolina. They have a bog off. So they get a bunch of people together and they do a, a chicken bog competition. Kind of like a chili cook off, off but with chicken bog. And it brings in, you know, tens of people there to. Annie, like no, Annie, no, we, okay, so let me explain. Annie thought Perlo was grits. So when we did disaster work a few, like many years ago, we were doing, we were serving the National Guard for a uh, flood. And we had chicken bog on our canteen. We, Salvation Army, we serve on the canteen, whatever. And I made chicken bog. So this guy comes up and he's like, what's chicken bog? And I'm like, where are you from? And he said, Georgetown. You're from Georgetown, you know what chicken bog is? So when he opened it up, he said, oh, it's Perlo. Didn't know it was different. Or what on wooden skewers, Amanda? Okay, so just let you know, chicken bog is a greasy rice meal. That is rice, chicken, and sausage is the main part. Like, everybody likes different stuff. I'm a plain Jane girl. I don't like a lot of stuff in my chicken bog. I want just the rice, the chicken, and it to be, like, greasy and mushy. That's my favorite. Hey, we're having a shallot tonight. So, I got to peel the shallot and half it and then slice it. Chicken bob. That's what Amanda thinks you I know. Kebab. <laughs> I know. But it's not. It's, it's like a bog. Like, you Soup down in a bog, it is a soupy, greasy mess, is what you can It's in your mouth, and it's like. So, a couple of years ago, the main, the winner of the bog off in Loris, their main ingredient, like their secret ingredient, I found out was liver mush. Ew. 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 So, Ew. All right, so, Ew. All right let, me, let me get this step two. So, we're in step two. I trimmed the ends off the green beans. I'm now peeling. And having, having, no. I have to have the shallot. I have to cut you know it in half. I bet people think that we're drunk. Yeah. And we're not. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. <laughs> so I have to, and then I got to slice the halves into strips. So that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to slice the halves, the halves in strips. So, Amy, Jerry's grandma, so, like, again, she was from Texas, Iowa, and then here. When she made chicken box, she put French onion, French onion, onion. really, seriously, I said that, <laughs> French onion soup in hers. But, again, I'm still, I want it plain. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. I'm, I'm halving and slicing the halves. He's still struggling with the difference between onions Scallions. <laughs> I love the scallions. I had no idea they were growing in my backyard. I just thought when I cut the grass and smell onions, I just thought it was, you know, me. I had no idea that I was actually cutting scallions. <laughs> yes, he, well, okay. It, it does look like he's getting better keeping his fingers out of the way, but still, I'm over, ah, here, I'm over yeah. here cringing. So I got a little slice on my thumb. The other day, not from this knife, but from my pocket knife, because 
I was playing around with it. All right, so Annie, we'll, we'll have to try chicken box sometime, Grandma Hardy style, and throw some French onion soup in there. I'm really thinking about doing a chicken bog with the um, cauliflower rice. Okay, well, I think that... I do a chicken bog competition. A chicken bog competition? Okay. Oh, Ooh. Oh, no so I like that. Cat ordered a quiche Lorraine, and she's having that first. Okay, well, so uh, that sounds good. <laughs> yeah, no, we're not having that. Okay, so I'm going <laughs> to place my green beans and my shallots in a bowl. I'm going to cover it with olive oil, salt, and pepper. You okay? lost something. I lost something. Yeah. What did I lose? It, no, oh, I saw. I see. Yeah. I got it. So yeah. that's what I'm going to do. This. Always, always, salt and pepper, whether you use them or not, always travel together. They're very lonesome apart. So you have to travel together. And then what I'm going to do is Daddy olive oil. Daddy would be so proud of you. Olive oil, salt, pepper, and then it goes on a, well, they call it a foil line tray. But you know what I do? Mm -mm. Okay, Annie. You Annie. know what I do, Annie? It's time. I go to the mat. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to get my mat out. It's a silicone mat, easy cleanup. I throw it into the um, dishwasher. Okay, but here's the thing. He does. He throws it in the dishwasher, easy cleanup. But then I unload the dishwasher... And he usually will put this stuff like on top and then everything underneath is wet and gross and doesn't wash well. So tonight I'm calling you out. You gotta figure out a better, out. better way to wash that. All right, so I'm gonna lay these on the cookie sheet. This oh. is the uh And he just said drink. Well I'm I'm about done with this tiny little direct daiquiri, I'm just saying. There's some in the shaker. Oh nice. Alright, so I'm gonna lay this out on the cookie sheet. And then it goes in the oven for about 14 no, minutes. No, he does not pre-rinse before he puts in the dishwasher. Just saying. What? The dishwasher's supposed to do all the work. Why am I doing all the work? Oh. Isn't that the Cascade commercial, they say? Annie said he is shot. Okay, okay. That, that's where Annie gets me in trouble. Which one? <laughs> hey, Google. Set a timer for 14 minutes. Okay, so... Yes. Yeah, Wildcat. He is also obsessive about he how he loads the dishwasher, but he doesn't unload the dishwasher, so he doesn't understand what a soggy mess he leaves when he puts one of those big pans on top. I don't know what you're talking about. You I, can't sit the big I pan. I refuse you, you can't to listen it. to your reasoning. You can't sit the big pans on top. But you know what? No, you have to wash it separately. So now I'm going to look at Nell, this. Nelly just got on and she's breaking up our argument. So tell her what you're cooking tonight. I am cooking a home chef meal, blackened steak, roasted pepper shrimp. I'm on step two, getting ready to mix the pesto and mayonnaise. So I'm going to assume this is the pest. Yes, this is the roasted red pepper pesto. And look at this. This is what I like about this company about home chef. I get reusable containers. Okay, seriously, guys, he's obsessed with this. But the other day, I reusable my, containers. I packed my lunch for work, and I used one of those little bitty containers to put my um, hummus in for my wrap. So I reused it. Reusable containers. So Amanda says, so he is a soggy bottom boy in the dishwasher. Yes, he is a soggy bottom boy. In reusable the containers. Look, him trying to deflect. Oh, do you know what that word means? I do not know what that word means. <laughs> Don't use big words on me. Uh, Amanda says raise the roof. Whoop, oh, whoop. Danny says raise the roof. Whoop, whoop. Because, why? Why? I got reusable containers. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and mix this pesto together with the mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. Because it's going to make our sauce. It, it In this kit, comes with three packets of mayonnaise. Not Miracle Whip, but mayonnaise. Now, now, okay, so that's something I had to break. Oh, uh, other southern, other southern people. Yes. When Jerry and I got together, I mean, okay, Miracle Whip has its place. 
Yes, it does on every sandwich. No, possible. no, it does not. But I had to pull him away from Miracle Whip and say, Dukes. Dukes. Dukes is the way to go. You, Gotta you, don't, be Dukes. you don't say mayonnaise here in the South. <laughs> you say Dukes. Nellie is now looking for a stainless steel pot. <laughs> Listen. I any burn stuff. Any suggestions? Okay, Nelly, our pots aren't expensive. Like, okay, again, most of our pots that you see hanging out there, we got as wedding gifts 27 years 27 ago. 27 years ago. But the other ones, the pans and stuff, we bought from Costco. Like, we're not spending a ton of money. We just look for stainless steel. Just because Jerry has to have a power tool to clean. That's your friend to keep them shiny. Barkeeper's friend. All right, so I'm not a bar. Though. Amanda uses green olive mayo. Oh, oh no, it's Dukes. Dukes, Dukes, Dukes. yeah, it's Dukes. Dukes is family mayo. Y'all never tricked. I was, I was, I was so like, I don't even know the right, the right look at word these. for it. Hey, look at these steaks. Can I point these out? Look, look at that. Look, look at these steaks. What are they? They are steaks. Beef New York strip. Yeah. New York All right, in Nelly his says hi. Screenshot that, but I don't have a Costco here. Okay. Oh, well, that's the. I tell you what, this is what you do. You have a thrift store somewhere in your town nearby. Shop the thrift store. Yeah, we get a lot of stuff. Because you can here. you can sanitize stainless steel. It doesn't matter. People throw them out left and right because a lot of people don't use the stainless because they don't know how to keep them clean. You know, everybody tells you get non-stick wear. Mm -hmm. I burn stuff. So you can't take a drill to non-stick wear. No. It's but like frowned upon. Does, if it's non-stick though, shouldn't the burn not stick? Now, here's the question, Jimmy. Oh my God, Jimmy. Here's the question. Jimmy, why here's the you question. Do this, Jimmy? So if nothing sticks to Teflon, how does Teflon, how does Teflon stick to the pan? Single-sided tape. Ugh. Uh. My brain's a bitch. <laughs> Listen, people. Uh, but Nelly, you don't have to get the barkeeper's friend, is that what it's called? Barkeeper's friend. That we get off of Amazon. Yep. So, barkeeper, just remember, barkeeper's friend, Amazon. I think you probably get a Walmart anywhere, but we. Yeah, I think you can get a Walmart. You probably can, but we, we don't shop. We order everything just so lazy. <laughs> I don't think it's lazy. I think we're utilizing the technology that's available. There we go. You like that? You there like that? Go. You, you I, do I, like that. That makes me feel so that makes you better. Feel so, <laughs> so tonight we got steak and shrimp tonight, by the way. I am super excited. I'm just washing my hands. Because I like to keep my hands clean. Okay. So, I uh, have to pack the... Oh, Wildcat said pans don't go in the dishwasher. What do you oh, mean? Oh, Can you explain a little oh, bit on that? Oh, oh, because oh. I throw all my pans in the dishwasher... And, and then take them they, out later and scrub them clean. But, but no, <laughs> they go in dirty and they come out clean. Now, I do have to scrub... Sometimes I burn the stuff. Well, most times I burn the stuff. So I have to scrub a little bit How before potatoes? I put them in there. Are they done? No, no, no. They're okay. The potatoes aren't done. Right. So I got to get the steaks on. Cast iron. Try cast iron tonight. Mm. Then we'll put it in the dishwasher. I am not doing cast iron. I hate cast iron. He hates because cast iron. you can't use soap or scrub brush on them. And he does. He, he puts soap on my cast irons. And then that's a whole divorce level fight that we have. Like, so he doesn't even use them. All right, I'll bring over some cheap ones. We can trial and error. Mm. We'll teach them. Okay, well, they're still cheap. Like, <laughs> our, our cast irons come from thrift stores. So if you, if, we are thrift store shoppers. So if you rummage around thrift store stores shoppers. and you find a cast iron pan that looks like there is no hope for it, Fire. there is. Like, they live forever. You can get the cast iron. Come home, clean it up, re-season it, but you shouldn't have to re-season it okay. every time you now, use it. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't use the cast irons, okay? The the guys, my, my daughter's boyfriend and my daughter's husband, they all come over and they use the cast irons. It's on the shelf 
for them or when Jennifer does stuff with them, she makes a mean cornbread out of that oh, cast iron. Yes, I do. But then the, the guys that use I don't use the cast iron because I don't want to clean it. No, uh, the problem is you do so, use it and then you So clean it tonight right, and then it's not telling me to do anything to the steaks but cook them tonight. Mm. It's saying place a large nonstick pan, which I don't use a nonstick pan. Over the medium heat and add two tablespoons of olive oil. Add the steaks to the pan and cook them. It's not telling me to season those. Oh, you're not going to season the meat? That's what it's telling me. The directions are telling me. I don't want to deviate right, from the directions. No, 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 we're going by the directions. Because maybe, maybe later on. I don't know. Oh, um, wait, 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 wait. Uh-huh. Okay. I need to pat the dry... Quarter teaspoon of salt, pinch of pepper. Oh, and the blackening season. Uh huh. So you do yep. have the season. Yes, I do yes. season. So you didn't read ahead. I didn't. I didn't read ahead. <laughs> I don't want to read ahead. I want to go to do this as we go through it. So let me go ahead and do this. All right, but you you should read ahead. What? What so, is the surprise? We're going to add some salt. I add some pie. I'm pretty sure those potatoes are. Packed. I just checked them. I just okay. checked them. The potatoes. I just checked the potatoes. They're okay. They're okay. And are, then we're gonna. Are they mushy? This yet? is nope, not mushy yet. Blackened seasoning. It so this is, is blackened it's seasoning. It's killing me to not go over there and check those potatoes. I just checked them. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm having to hold myself down to not check those potatoes. Okay. Okay. There we go. I just checked the potatoes. I trust you. I'm yeah, see, it. I can't even put my fork in without. Oh, you know what? I missed a lot of messages. Hey, guys, I'm sorry. It didn't advance. Like, oh, yeah, oh my gosh. Whole, whole conversation uh oh, a whole conversation. No, it didn't advance, so I didn't Last see. Last one said, Danny, they're not paying attention to you. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. it didn't. We don't well, that's miss. what you're there for, is to tell me, hey, and it's comments. I thought you miss No, it wasn't something. advancing. Like, it had... Alright, let's throw it back. Cast iron lasts as long as you don't wash it with soap. I uh, love my cast iron for pancakes, cornbread, uh, chicken. And then I just now see a mouse run by. What? What What did I miss? Okay, guys, I'm so, so sorry about missing stuff. For some reason, it did not advance and I couldn't see it. I'm like, nobody's commenting. That's weird, but... All right, so Alicia, right. you are. Right, I'm backtracking. I'm backtracking. Backtracking. Alicia, okay. use a ceramic. Ceramic. Oh, we haven't used ceramic. Melissa says it's on sale now. Uh, oh, Bell has 13 piece set of Biltmore cookware stainless steel on sale now. Oh, nice. Jeez, I've missed a lot. Well, I wonder what happened. I don't know. It just froze. Uh, if you close that and reopen, it will cast back up. Uh, yeah, but. Uh, Danny, you put your cast iron in a dishwasher if there's room? Really? I no, he that. does I not. He that. yells at me all the time when I throw it under water. And then Annie says, dance again. Like, she just. Annie just wants to see me dance. Ooh, we're on a cast iron. Danny, no mouse. Okay, now I'm on this step here. I'm gonna pat the shrimp dry. We're having shrimp tonight, by the way. All right, Danny. Danny's like obsessed with mouses. Why is it mouses or mice? Mice. 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 Mouses. Ye o wild cat needs a cast iron pan. Go to your thrift store. Yeah, go to your thrift store and get a cast iron pan, and then uh, YouTube how to season it properly. Cast iron will last forever as long as you don't wash it with soap. I don't know what you're talking about. Leave me alone with the soap. Okay, I wash my body with soap. Why can't I wash my pan with soap? Uh, yeah. Because you are not made of cast iron. Um, obviously. What? Okay. So I'm cooking the steaks. Amanda said they made cornbread in their Dutch oven cast iron. It was good. I bet it was. Oh, we got a, is that what that is up here? Yes. The Dutch oven yes. cast iron? Yeah. Nice. And he says cornbread and chicken bob. Good combination. Yes, they are. Okay, so. <laughs> 
Uh, so then Melissa says I'm not paying Danny any attention. I'm sorry. I don't know what happened with my... All right, let me just catch up where we are now. Okay. Amanda's going to... Oh, no. Amanda says... And that... Um, yeah, oh, I'm just so confused now. I've got so much stuff. Yep, look at thrift store. That's where to go. All right. We're going to start from here forward. I don't know what's going on with my... Okay, so guys, this is one of the problems. So we like the Home Chef meals because it comes in different varieties and stuff. But the directions are not as clear as Green Chef. So the potatoes, it says I got to put the potatoes on. But then I got to report back to the potatoes to finish them. Uh, it, they're not as easy to read as Green Chef, but... So once the potatoes are done, I got to go back uh, to my step one. Melissa is my new BFF. She said, just start fresh. All com previous comments are null and void. <laughs> I'm not trying to ignore people. I just, I don't know what happened. It just wasn't advancing. All right. And now I'm concerned about the steaks and the potatoes because there's a lot of smoke over there. I'm getting ready to pull them off. All right. But I got to save the potato juice. Danny said, take the potatoes. It says I have to save the potato juice. It didn't say potato juice. It says potato water. Potato water. So I'm going to save the potato water. Tater juice. We're, you know, the, we're all saying tater juice. Well, that's because um, one of the meals said potato uh, uh, juice. Uh, uh, Google. Hey, Google. Stop. All right, let me put this over here. I'm going to pull the steaks off. Mm. Mm. Oh, they look good, though. Oh, that looks good. You like that? Oh, I'm going to put this good. in the center over here. That is a big steak. We're going to use those here in just a minute. we got a little smoke here. Yeah. All right. If you hear a loud, obnoxious noise, we can't do anything about it because our smoke alarm is so high, you have to have an extension light okay. to it. So, listen, let's do this. Making the potatoes. We're going to make uh, <laughs> potatoes. We're going to add the water, garlic salt. We're going to add garlic salt, cream cheese, and cheese. Mm. Garlic salt. Mmm. You know what? Cheese and Any, cream cheese. Anytime you say cheese, I'm here. Almost is, rare steak for me. Yes. Yo, yeah, not me. That's the way it's got to be cooked. It's rare. Yeah. I don't like rare steak, but you know, you give me a rare tuna, and I'm so happy. Like I, I want my tuna almost cold in the middle. That's the way I like my steaks. Did you turn off the green beans? Oh, I did not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, reminder. Okay, reminder, good. Who me sixty three said green beans? Yep, I gotta get those out of the oven. Danny, I don't know what you're saying. Okay, so I got my cream cheese. There's no, cream. okay, okay, they're all saying rare. They all agree with you, but okay. Cream cheese in the potatoes? Can you believe it? Yeah, I've made cream cheese in my potatoes. In the potatoes? You, you just don't know because I, don't I know. cook it and you eat thought, it and you don't know. I thought you did, you know, sour cream in the potatoes. Danny wants hey, to play the are you game watching? Potato. Are you watching? Hey, Fur. What? Are you watching? I got the green beans. Your jeans you like are that? saggy tonight. My jeans are saggy? Yeah, what? Those okay. Are, I'm not. I'm, no. What? Those are the okay. good jeans. All right. Not so, the good jeans. let's get these going. Now, I've got my potatoes. i got to return the pan used for... It says i got to return the pan used to cook steaks to medium-high heat and add one tablespoon of olive oil. And then we're going to add our shrimp to the hot pan, cook until pink. And then we're going to remove the burner, add the sauce after they cook. All right, it's whoa, very whoa. hard for me to let him finish the statement when I want to make comments on what people are saying. Okay. But ahead, Melissa me. puts mayo in her mashed potatoes. Me too. I've done that before. And the you know, Wildcat says, well, hubby doesn't know doesn't hurt him, right? <laughs> like, I, I'm not kidding. He hated onions, he said. So I would... 
grate up the onions so they were just juice and put them in stuff. And he's like, well, see, it's just as good without onions. Uh-huh. Yes, dear, it is. Just as good without onions. That's a lot of sarcasm in this statement. <laughs> That's a lot of sarcasm in this statement. Did y'all hear that? That's a lot of sarcasm in this statement. <laughs> Man, look at this. Look at this. This is so... Oh, sour cream and mashed potatoes is good. You can do mashed potatoes so many different ways. Okay, so Danny is back to the hidey potato. What is a hidey potato? I, I don't know. It's a game where you hide a potato and try to find it. Okay, I don't want to play games right now. I'm making a meal. Can I make a meal, please? And then Annie said all she heard was buy a silicone mat on Amazon. All right, well, Scott... Buy a silicone mat on Amazon. Y'all didn't tell me that was burning. Oh, Amanda. Oh, Amanda's gotta go. See you next time, Amanda. CCG says is he making potato puree? <laughs> yeah. Harley, what are you saying? <laughs> okay. Heidi, potato, potato. I can't even say what you're saying. Uh, oh, CCG said, look like it's some potatoes. Oh, oh, that sounds like a dig. That's a dig? That sounds like a what? dig. What? That might be a compliment. You did so good, it looks commercial. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so CCG, in his defense, I know you come to it. So in his defense, he doesn't like chunks or anything. Like, he will put a salsa that has chunks in it in the blender to get the chunks away. He does it. It's a texture thing. It's a him. texture thing. It's a texture thing. He doesn't like chunks. Okay. Let's get this shrimp going. Here we go. Me, give me the chunks. Nothing wrong with potato. Okay, Danny, I can't even read what you're putting anymore. You're right. Potato. 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 What is that? <laughs> uh, I think I think they've had a few too many daiquiris. Oh, uh, Danny, are you drinking daiquiris with us tonight? Yikes! <laughs> I think they've had a few too many daiquiris. Okay, I need a bowl. Oh, let me clean this bowl out real quick. Might be big. Oh, so CCG said you'd be a great nurse and home chef. Okay, well, I am a senior center manager. So maybe, there okay. we go. But but do they have do they have recipes with directions? Because I don't come up with these meals on my own. This week we're using home chef. Next week we may be green chef. Who knows? I follow directions when it comes to the meals. I don't come up with them. All right, well, now Melissa's on your side. She does that too with her sides. She loves her homemade pico de gallo, though. What is pico de gallo? Uh, it's a pico. Really? Is that is that like pico? the is that like the tomatoes and onions and all that? Yeah. We like that. Uh, I do. I just learned what it was tonight. What? What? I just learned what it was tonight. Pico de gallo. He thought it was false. false. Oh. That's not true. That's not true. I've had it and I've made it and you refuse to eat it. This is go. this is a struggle. Like What's you're that? not just learning. I've tried to teach you before. Yes, he has potential. Maybe. Oh, I may have tons of potential, but without the directions, I can't make it. <laughs> I believe CCG is a cook. Their TikTok is full of really nice. Oh, food. Amy, I love chunky salsa, but I will make homemade salsa, and then he takes my homemade salsa and divides it up, and then blends up. I got blended. Yeah, one. it's got chunks in it and stuff. You know, if you put the chunks on the chip and you crack <laughs> it up, and it's got the chunks on it, the chunks fall off. It never gets to your mouth. So if I blend it, I get it every time. CCG says I hired him for my daughter's wedding. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, is your quiche done? Go enjoy your quiche. I love quiche, but Jerry will probably not eat quiche because Here we go. it's a word. Check this out. Look at that shrimp. So the shrimp I'm gonna put in a bowl. And he said, check the potatoes. Potatoes are done. <laughs> I put the shrimp in the bowl. We're gonna add our sauce to the shrimp. 
and we're gonna mix. Oh, 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 look at that. Smell that? Oh, so uh, Melissa is like, oh yeah, you got shoes on tonight. Yep, he didn't. I got shoes on tonight. <laughs> this is, that, I, in fact, I didn't change. This is what I wore to the office today. I didn't change at all. No, you just took your button up off and put it on the back of one of I our didn't wear chairs. Button up today. The button up was there from yesterday. Okay, well. Oh. Because bar chairs, That's better. bar chairs are closets. No. You know what time it is? Time to eat. Time to plate. Let's I'm plate. Hungry. Here we go. We're gonna go ahead and plate this. Woo! Yeah. No, I don't wear. No, when I come in the house, you a walk at my shoes and my bra are the first things to go off. I removed my bra too. I, yeah. Well, no, it's still on. I see it. <laughs> you so fun. I call his wife beater his bra. All right, we're plating now. Ghostbusters, Danny, what is wrong with you? Work. He's on a. He's on. What a is wrong with today. Danny tonight? He just said Ghostbusters. Oh, check this out. Check this out. Okay. Now I got to do this for the plating, but then I can always come back and cut you. Okay. Let me do this for the plating. Show everybody how easy it was to make this meal. Mm -hmm. We're going to do this, and then I will cut your steak for you, okay? Thank you. I love you. Here we go. Check that out. My daddy Guys. Alabama just called me a Ridge Runner. Listen. Home Chef Blackened Steak Roasted Pepper Shrimp. Check that picture out, and then check my plate out. Check that out. Look, I did that. I did that following the directions. Home Chef, blackened steak, roasted pepper shrimp. Where is my fork? Oh, yeah, CCG said it looks just like the pig. And it really would if we used photo editing look, like they did. I'm just saying. Look, look. You're going to love this. Yay. Well, I'm hungry. Awesome job, Melissa says. Guys, I did that. I did that. Home Chef. Blackened steak, roasted peppers. All right, so shrimp. he will not be here tomorrow night or the next night because for some reason his job is taking him out of town and I'm going to have to I got to leave town. Guys, listen, we had the classic daiquiri tonight. We did the Home Chef blackened steak, roasted pepper shrimp. I will see you Friday night. Join us. If not, uh, maybe I can get a guest to come in uh, tomorrow and Thursday, but we'll see. Thank you for joining us, guys. We will see you Friday. Have a good one. I'm going to go eat. That's my music.